Current estimates from the state show a 23 point gap between our current workforce and the skilled workforce Oklahoma will need by 2020. Much of the job training for specific skill sets like manufacturing is done at career tech centers which serve about 700 thousand students each year. But for six years, Career Tech has had its appropriations whittled away due to state budget cuts. The agency is now once again looking at ways to do more with less. Yes, sir. This job fair at Tulsa Tech is one of several scheduled by Governor Mary Fallon as part of her Oklahoma Works initiative. The initiative seeks to support public and private efforts to give Oklahomans the work skills and education needed to get good paying, fulfilling jobs. One of my strongest selling points for the state of Oklahoma is that we do have a very specific goal of raising our work skills and our education level in our state. And four years ago, I launched a program called Complete College America, which is not only college degrees, but also workforce certificates from our career tech systems. And we set very specific goals of how many more degrees and certificates we want to have added to our workforce. Bob Franklin is the Associate Superintendent for Outreach and Advancement at Tulsa Tech. He says job fairs like this serve two purposes. It reminds us that we're all in this together. Uh, number two, it brings in the collaborative partners uh, in alignment with the governor and the workforce initiatives that are out there, the pathway initiatives but it also helps people have a little hope. Mary, how long have you been looking for a job? Well, a permanent job for well over a year. I've done several temp jobs, um, but I've been looking for a permanent place to call home uh, for that long. While Oklahoma's unemployment rate is one of the lowest in the country, the poverty rate is one of the highest. Jean Perry, an analyst with the Oklahoma Policy Institute, explains the disparity this way. There's a very large percentage of minimum wage jobs or near minimum wage jobs. Um, even people are working, many of them living in poverty or near poverty. And so, you know, you can say we have low unemployment, but what Oklahomans really need is good jobs, well-paying jobs. And to get there, we got to have that workforce training. We got to have education. We got to have investments in, in ways that families are going to be able to, you know, move up the economic ladder and not be, you know, stuck in dead-end jobs. Funding cuts to career tech will likely affect the hundreds of thousands who are enrolled to learn those skills. Career tech's budget for the next fiscal year is 3.5 percent below last year's and more than 15 percent below what it was in 2009. In fact, career tech's budget has been slashed by more than $24 million in the last six years, and that doesn't account for inflation. We've cut education, we've cut career tech, we've cut higher education, and so we're really losing a lot of these things that Oklahoma needs to have a strong economy. John Day, a former math teacher at Claremore Public Schools, has been looking for work since summer break started. My contract was not renewed due to budget cuts this last year, uh, so uh, I would prefer to have an education job, but you can't really count on that under the present circumstances. Governor Fallon says the $611 million shortfall in state revenue made for some tough budget decisions. But I've tried to protect education as much as possible because career tech and vocational schools Higher education degrees are very important to those two-thirds of the jobs that are available to people that have a higher level of education in our state. Career Tech must now make critical budget decisions of its own. Dr. Marcy Mack is the state director. Since FY09 uh, through this year, we've had approximately 84 um, reduction in staff positions, and so we're analyzing and looking at various places in staff, um, services that we provide and looking at our efficiencies at the agency operation and then we will also take a look at the pass-through money um, to see where there are areas uh, of efficiencies that we can evaluate. Franklin says Oklahoma can expect to have a qualified workforce if we aren't funding education. It's getting to a crisis point that we have to stand in the way as voters and we have to make some significant decisions about how we resource these common efforts to build our communities and to sustain economic viability. If not, other states will compete and, and beat us to the punch. What Oklahoma needs for a good economy is investments in infrastructure, investments in education and in workforce training, 
And what we really haven't needed, what there's not a whole lot of people calling for, are, are more and more tax cuts. Perry and other economic analysts expect a big budget hole again next year, caused in part by the loss of almost $150 million due to a tax cut that goes into effect in January. That will likely leave career tech again trying to find ways to build Oklahoma's workforce with less money.